Selamat pagi dan <laughs> Selamat pagi dan assalamualaikum saya ucapkan kepada anda semua saya di SD dari SD channel hosting di From Start Series Season 2 on my digital maker YouTube channel. Dalam episod ketiga ini kita akan cover programming untuk app yang kita akan buat. So let's get started. So as for the previous episode, we've done with the basics of the app design. So we've put on the title of the app, the input text for the app, and the buttons. But as the previous episode, we haven't make any action for the buttons or for the text input. So before I start, I would like to change some settings for the text input. So if you click on height. then you can scroll down to keyboard type click on keyboard type and change to numeric numeric is basically how is where you input only numbers because height and weight are in numbers so same goes to the weight make sure you change to numeric so that you don't want people to put in some huruf huruf inside so once you're done with that now we can actually go to the blocks okay once you're in the blocks few things that you need to know first first thing is to make sure they key in the height and the weight and then they'll click the calculate button to calculate and the clear button to clear both boxes so kita akan mulakan dengan bila anda tekan button calculate so when you press the button calculate when calc is clicked so it's very easy when you program with um, blocks because it's all in words compared to programming languages because programming languages are complicated with a lot of symbols so when calc is clicked when calculate is clicked you want to make sure it does the formula so the basic formula for bmi is your weight in kg divided by your height times height So for that you need a um, math box or block which shows divide and you need your weight input scroll down until you find weight from weight in gate text so basically what it does is just with this code the the program basically just gets the text which has been inputted to the weight text input So weight is divided by the height times by height. To do that, you need a math block which says multiply. So multiply. So you need height, height text times height text. So you need two height text. So one and another one. So still under what you need, you just have to drag and drop it here beside divide. So now you you have basically have the formula for the your BMI. So now you have the formula for your BMI. So it always depends on how you want to show your answers, your BMI. So we'll be doing something very simple here. We won't be doing any second pages. All we're going to do is just change the title to the calculated bmi so all you have to do is from title set text so we're going to change the title to the bmi you can drag and drop here so we can change the title according to the bmi formula and that's basically done so when the user inputs their height and weight in kilogram and in meter all it does is basically calculates the bmi with this formula and displays the bmi on the top where the title was now for the second part is the clear button when someone clicks the clear button all it does is basically sets the text input for weight and height to empty so it's very easy all you have to do is click on height input set height in text to empty So it already has the block empty here so you don't have to put anything inside. So we have to do the same for weight input. So and that's basically done. 
So what it does is just when the calculate button is clicked, it will actually calculate the weight and the height. When the clear button is clicked, it will clear both fields. Now I'll be opening the Tunkable app. Sign into Google. Now you can try by inputting your height. So you have the numeric pad that we have programmed just now. So my height will be 1.85 in meters and my weight will be proudly 85 kilograms. You can click on done and hit the calculate button and it will basically show the BMI number 24.8356. So it's basically a large decimal number. You can actually simplify the number and I'll show you that in the code later. Now you can test the clear button to clear the input. There you have it. The input is all cleared and it's back to showing the hints of the text input that you have. So as we saw just now, the title of the app changed to a large decimal number. You can simplify that by clicking the math option. Scroll down till you find this, this button with how many decimal places. You can scroll that and keep it here. And all you have to do is just track the whole thing and then put it in the first empty slot. You can put it up here. So all it does is basically it rounds off whatever the answer of the calculation to a few decimal places. So you can choose how many decimal places. I will just go for about one decimal place. So you can check that again with the BMI calculator. So that's basically it. You have your basic BMI calculator app made by your very own hands with a simple code. You can go in more details, but I would not like to complicate all the details now. So not to forget this week's giveaway, we'll be still giving away a VR box as we've given away in the first two episodes of this season. And for this season, since the previous episode we've done with Facebook, and Twitter. So this episode will be doing a giveaway through Instagram. So all you have to do is basically repost this post right here in your story and make sure you tag both DSD channel and my digital maker and write a comment on why do you think VR is cool? And that's not the first and only step. The next thing you have to do is make sure you subscribe to my digital maker and DSD channel on YouTube. Follow both of us on Instagram as well. And that's all for this episode for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one where we'll be publishing and making an icon for the app that you've just made and some perfections that you can make to the app that you have made to make it more user-friendly. So I'll see you in the next episode, guys.